So EMA, the Slovenian national final, has just come to a close. Transmission stopped about 20 minutes ago and Matthias and I watched it for the Euro trip. And Omar Nabar has won and he is off to Eurovision with his song On My Way. Yep, he's now on his way to Kiev. Um, he did represent Slovenia back in 2005, sadly didn't make the final that time, and has tried on several other occasions, including the Swiss selection last year. Um, Matthijs, um, you were covering it for the Eurotrip on Twitter. Uh, what do you think of On My Way? A train wreck. I hate it. I swear I hate it. Aww. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, no. Well, my initial reaction is, I'm not that upset about it, I, I quite like it. I, I think I like his voice more than the song, if that makes sense, but I'll go into more detail on that just shortly. But yeah, he is the winner, he won the jury, didn't win the televote, came second behind fan and international favourite BQ with Heart of Gold. Um, so, going back onto On My Way, what is it about it that just seems to rub you the wrong way about it? I don't know, it's just, there were so many good songs in the selection and out of all the songs they picked that one and for me it, it was one of the worst. It's not bad, but I don't see it coming out of the semi-finals in, in Eurovision itself and it's a shame because uh, Slovenia really upped this game and it, the, the national final was just amazing. It's, it's my favorite national final so far, so yeah. I'm, I'm just really disappointed this one and not like Raven or Be Cool because those were my favourites. <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said, I don't really mind it. It's going in the second half of the first semi-final and we have quite a few songs in that semi-final like Albania, Finland, Georgia and Poland. So it's it may struggle, you know, it's another kind of ballad. So you know, it's quite a few, but it's a male ballad so it might stand out. Like I said, um, I like his voice. I did say it was probably a bit too... Disney for Eurovision this year, like that's why that's why I didn't think he was gonna win because I thought it's fine, but when I hear it, I just think of George 2013, and I just kind of think this is not the right song for this year. Like there were, like I said, I did think there were other options they could have gone with. My personal favourite was Nika Zorlian with Zay or Zay, however you pronounce it. I thought that was quite cool and different and you know, rhythmic. Um, but yeah, they decided to go with Omar. And yeah, there are some people are you know very upset about it. Some people are very happy about it. It's caused such a split, so we're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, obviously, I can vote for the song because it is in the semi-final where the United Kingdom can vote. Matthias, you don't have to worry about that because they're not competing against the Netherlands. <laughs> um, <laughs> would I pick up the phone and vote for this? Pro probably not. Look, um, you know, I don't see it be something I would vote for personally, but. I don't wish him bad. He going on like an initial like in my head, I think he's borderline. Just looking at the countries and the songs we already have, it's I won't say it's the weakest song in that semi-final. It's definitely not my least favourite in that semi-final. <laughs> it is. It's even at, Georgia is better. <laughs> well it's not my least favourite at the minute. Like I think he's better than at least two of them. So yeah, they they have half a chance. But if they do make the final, it's it's going to be 10th, then it's going to be like 25th. It's going to be like Team Cara. But I think for Slovenia to get back into the final, that would be a job well done. The juries is the thing that really put them ahead. And so they chose, oh, chose Omar over two songs that were wrote by Merleya, the 2015 act, which of course were Nikos Olian and Bikul's song. Do you, why do you think the juries went for Omar over two more, in a, in a non-harsh and nasty way, two more modern 2017 sounding songs? Like what made you think, why do you think the juries went with Omar over them, if you can try and get in the heads of Slovenian juries? <laughs> Just because it's Omar. I, I think that's the explanation. He went to Eurovision uh, in 2005 and I, 
I think that's that's the re reaction what what the juries also had like oh he already has Eurovision experience let's just vote for him you know but yeah I I don't yeah I don't know <laughs> well it is Omar he's on his way to Kiev again for the second time I'll say 2005 wasn't Kiev he's going back to Kiev very very bizarre how that's happened actually I think and yeah I it's it wasn't my pick. Do I think it's going to do well? I, I don't know. I, I never know Slovenia, to be honest. The last few years, they've been such a borderline. It's It's got a chance, I think. Obviously, you disagree, but time will tell, I think. Again, it's another time will tell. But, you know, that's what we have. So I am predicting borderline, but even the final, going to be bottom five. What are your thoughts for Omar in Kiev? <laughs> I think 15th in the semi-final. <laughs> well, they are initial reactions of Omar Nabeer and On My Way. Also, like we said, the show finished literally less than half an hour ago. Did the right song win in Slovenia? Make sure you let us know. Is Omar on his way to the final? Let us know. And make sure you follow Europe Trip on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and YouTube where more, we do more songs, reviews and etc. between now and Eurovision. <laughs>